2022 news to help you prepare for election day. We're asking every candidate where they stand on the key issues. KCCI's Amanda Rooker sat down with all three candidates who are running for Congress in Iowa's 4th District. That's right, Steve. Republican incumbent Randy Feenstra is facing off against Liberty Caucus candidate Brian Jack Holder and Democrat Ryan Melton. I asked all three how they plan to tackle rising inflation and its impact on Iowans. Here's what they had to say. We spent $7 trillion in the last two years. I mean, that, that is just an amazing amount of money. So when you throw that much cash into our economic system, you're automatically going to have inflation. Number two is they're trying to pay for the $31 trillion by creating 87,000 more IRS agents to go back and try to take money from family farmers and from families and, and small businesses. And this is not how we do things in Iowa. And that's why I'm so concerned about what's happening and we've got to get our spending under control and stop this ridiculous, out of control environment of going after small business and farming communities. Well, the way the, uh, the, the debt-based uh, fiat currency system works is that our government just uh, creates more and more debt out of thin air and then it uh, allocates those monies to certain sectors, uh, certain people. Uh, but, you know, you look at like the student loan uh, forgiveness uh, that's going to cause more inflation. Uh, it's more and more dollars chasing fewer and few services and products at higher prices. You know, I think issue number one is corporate consolidation. Um, you know, this comes up quite a bit in my fourth district conversations uh, with the voters on the ground. A lot of farmers on the ground are being squeezed on the input and output side because you have such a consolidation of corporate power. We need to make sure that our industries that have profited so long and are seeing excessive profit right now during the inflationary time frame, are more responsive to the needs of the people down here on the ground that are giving them that money. We need to have, do a lot more uh, in the area of workers' rights. We have so many people that want to work that can't, whether it be because of a lack of affordable and accessible child care like what we're seeing in Iowa. Uh, there was a recent academic study that found if we funded for the gaps in our child care sector in this country, we could free up up to one million more workers that wish to work but can't. Now, beyond what they say, we wanted to know how the candidates have actually voted on issues like inflation. Now, Randy Feenstra is the only one in this race who's held federal office, and his voter record shows he voted no on the Inflation Reduction Act, the roughly $700 billion package of climate, health care, and tax measures.